Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Maria Hall and I am the owner of Deck the Halls DIY Studio. We have two locations. One location is in Stanley, Wisconsin and the other location is in New Richmond, Wisconsin. So if you're joining us today, thank you. If you're new to us, welcome. We're excited to have you with us. Today we are going to work through how to paint and assemble our super cute snowman shelf sitter. So this snowman kit, um, when you ordered it, you will receive the paint. Um, we have white, red, gray, black, orange, and glitter. Can't forget the glitter. We have parts to make the base, which, it, which will hold your snowman up. And then here, your, you, you receive this piece with two pieces of painter's tape. Your words say, let it snow. So this shelf sitter is going to be perfect for all of our winter months, especially if you're in Wisconsin, Minnesota. Um, you know that winter here lasts a long time. So this will be perfect for our winter months. This is taped twice. Do not remove the tape on the back, um, but I included tape on the front so that you would have this when we do get to that part. So right now, um, if you want, you can take the tape off of the front so you can see the, the words and just take your tape and set it aside. You will also receive sponges, glue, and then one touch-up brush. So this is a brush that if you have small spots that you wanna touch up, you can certainly use this. Items that I like to have on hand when I'm creating um, are also a pack of baby wipes. The baby wipes just help clean up things as you're working through your project. Um, if you have your box and you want a workable space, you can unfold that box and use that as your table covering if you would like. So let's, um, let's get started. We are going to start with the base. So I'm gonna take my snowman and all of his cutouts, I'm gonna move it aside so we can just talk about the base. So the base has four parts, one large piece with no slot, a slot piece that's large and then two smaller pieces that have slots. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to glue these together. So you can take your glue. Um, I like to glue on the piece that has a slot and I'm just gonna run some glue around, okay? And then you'll glue them together. So piece them together like so. And just, I like to make sure that they're square so the sides line up. You're gonna glue these pieces together. Doesn't really matter which piece you apply the glue to because they're both the same. So you'll take them and you'll do the same thing. Push them together. Make sure that that slot is the same and clear because this is where your, your snowman will fit in. Now we're gonna glue this piece on here so you can take this, add glue. Now remember, this glue hasn't set, so you're gonna wanna watch how much you really work with it. And then line it up so that you have a clear slot. Now, this is where I like to take my pieces off my snowman, because we're gonna need it like that anyways. And I would double check that my snowman fits in the slot, in a good spot, and then we're gonna set this aside. So once you've double checked that the slot fits your snowman, okay, we're going to set this aside so that it can dry and set. We will paint that last. Okay, so our base is assembled, it is drying, we're gonna start painting our pieces. One thing that I found helpful was to grab a pencil or a pen and write on all of your pieces what color you are going to paint them. Now we provided you with paint. You can certainly change your paint colors and use any craft paint um, or house paint even works to do this project. What I did was I went, went through and put a little letter on each of my pieces. So the hat's gonna be black, snowflake is white. I'm doing this backer piece right here gray and I'm doing the mittens red, so I put R's on there. His bow tie is gonna be red, orange for the nose, and then black for the other pieces, the other eye pieces. Okay, so I labeled it just so that when I get started painting, I can group colors together and paint those at the same time, and I just keep my, my colors the way I want them. I did write 
black on this piece because I want my letters black as well. So again, it's still taped on the back. That's to hold the letters in place in that cutout. So I will talk to you about how to paint um, each piece and then I will, um, and then we'll paint and then we get to assemble. So this is a really fun project you can also do with kids because they separate out the pieces um, and it would be a fun family project. So you're going to paint, maybe you're gonna paint your snow, snowman white. Um, so you'll lift open your paint and you have your, your white sponge here. And I'm just gonna shift my glue over, okay. So you don't have to paint the hat because the hat is getting covered up. So I'm gonna get a good amount of paint on and you'll just take your sponge and you will paint, okay? So we're just using the paint sponge to paint over and you're going to paint until you get the coverage that you like, okay? One thing to note is that these are laser cut, so they have a burned edge. You do not need to paint the edge unless you want to. So there is a nice clean edge on all pieces, okay? So you're gonna paint um, just as you would if you had a paintbrush. I mean, maybe you have a paintbrush at home that you'd prefer to use. We just use sponges here. The nice thing about this is you can just trim off the sponge and use it for another color um, if you want. So you'll paint all of your pieces I want to just show you um, a little trick on painting smaller pieces. You can grab that tape that we provided and put your smaller pieces on the tape. And the tape will hold those pieces in place while you paint. So I don't, I'm gonna do the white, I shut the white. So you put some paint on, I would dab a little bit of paint off because on these smaller pieces, you will just dab the paint until again, you get the coverage that you desire. And knowing that we have this snowflake on the tape, I can just hold the tape and my snowflake stays in place. I'll do the same thing for the eyes and mouth, I'm gonna choose black. So I'll open up my paint, grab a little black. There's a lot of paint on here. This is too much paint, okay? If you have a puddle of paint on there, that's too much paint. Dab it off and I'm going to dab on my eyes. And there's so much paint on the, my paper over here, so I'm just gonna dab from there paint on my eyes, and then I will move over to paint my mouth. Okay, so use that tape to help you. When you get to the bow tie, you can just hold that. You can also grab some painter's tape if you don't wanna get any paint on your hands. Um, you can also grab painter's tape for this one, but I don't mind holding it and just dabbing it again smooth layers, smooth thin layers of paint, and then come back and add another coat of paint until again, it's the, the color and the look that you are hoping for. So one last tidbit before we just start painting all of our pieces. Black, I wanna paint this black. Again, you can paint this any color you would like. I take my paint, I'm back to the black. So take, I'm gonna add a little bit more paint, dab it off, very thin consistency, like tissue paper thing, thin. Um, and then I'm just gonna dab on the entire board here, making sure I cover my letters. Now, it is important to note that your letters are gonna come out of here, okay? Your letters are gonna come off of this board. This board is just holding them in place so that we can paint them so be careful not to have too much paint on your sponge because that's gonna run through into the cracks of the letters from the letter in the board. And you don't want it to dry in there. It will make it difficult to remove when we do remove them. So light, thin, tissue paper thinness or thickness of coats of paint. And let that dry, come back and do another coat. When you are ready to paint your base, again, you can paint it any color you would like. 
you will just paint it as, as we did the pumpkin or as you're going to paint the pumpkin. So you're just going to paint. Now, don't get any paint in the slot where you're gonna put your snowman in. Don't get any paint in there, but just paint the rest of it once this is dry and set, okay? I did put my base here as black right here at this line because that will fit in the base and you might want it to match. You can also do white. Remember, this is your project and your creativity. So take time now to paint all of your pieces um, and then we'll come back to assemble. Okay, once all of your project pieces have dried, um, I wanted to show you the glitter. So we did include some glitter because you can't have a little, um, a snowman without glitter. So this glitter, you're gonna have to kind of scoop out. It's very pasty and chunky. And I'm gonna put it on my snowflake. So you'll put it on your sponge and then dab it. Make sure that your snowflake paint has dried before you apply. So see, I have a lot of glitter on my sponge and then I'm going to dab it. And I'm doing this right now so that this has time to dry while I am assembling the rest of my snowman. Super cute. If you have extra glitter, add it to other parts of your snowman. That would be really fun. So your creativity there. Um, now I'm gonna put my pieces aside so that I can assemble. I'm going to start with my hat. I've painted that black. I'm excited to see what colors you all decide to paint your snowman. Remember, you can always use craft glue or, or sorry, craft paint or house paint. So I just put a little bit of paint on the hat and then I'm going to set it in place, okay? It does need to set with this gel glue. It will set, so leave it where you would like it. Now, your hands are gonna kind of go here. I'm gonna lay these pieces out first before I glue, just to make sure I have space for all of my pieces. Look at how cute he is. I was thinking you could make this a little bit girly if you took this off. Um, you could add eyelashes, but we'll keep him with the bow tie. So I like that placement, and I like my hand placement or my banner placement. So now I will just take my glue and again add a little bit of glue to each of your pieces. Put them in place where you would like them. His nose is really fun. I found that I put some too much paint on a couple times so I just took a pencil and pulled out some of the paint um, in the details of the nose. For this smile, make sure you get a lot of paint smoothed out so your entire smile gets hit with paint, or sorry, glue. Then your bow tie. Okay, now for this hand piece, you could glue it down right away if you would like. Um, that might be best because when you put this on, it might be easier to do it this way. Um, I will show you the way just without it glued on first. But again, you, if you already glued it on, that's okay. Okay, so remember the piece of tape that I had you hold on to before? You're gonna take that, now this is dry, okay? You're gonna take that piece of tape and put it across. Okay, I have somewhat paint on there. We're gonna switch out and do a different piece of tape here. So put your piece of tape across. This is gonna hold all of your pieces together. While we flip it over, we're going to remove the backer tape so that we can glue our letters. With this, you wanna make sure you're getting glue on the letters 
and not on the backer board. You also want to make sure that you're adding glue in as many spots as possible on the letters and as smooth as possible. So I just had a big kind of glob come out of glue. I want to smooth that out so that when I apply pressure and I push it down, it doesn't pull onto the backer board. This glue, the tip is very um, fine, so it works well on these letter cutouts. Okay. So we're adding just a little bit of glue, but enough so that you can stick. Okay, I have it all on the Let It Snow. Now, this fits perfectly on this board. So when you put it down, you wanna make sure, use your hands to make sure that it's square, okay? We kinda of took the guesswork out of this, okay? So this fits on, I'm smoothing out my letters because that's where I put glue on, okay? I'm going to peel up my tape, and now I'm going to peel up this backer piece that we had our letters in. Look at how awesome that worked out, you guys. So your letters are on here. Again, it has to set, okay? The glue has to set. So try not to shimmy and shake it too much. You're going to glue this piece wherever you would like it. And since I don't wanna tip this, I'm gonna just kind of put some glue underneath. where this piece will go, where I want it. Okay, so I'm gonna set it right there. Awesome. Now, our snowflake. So my glittery snowflake, we're gonna add that on. The same process, add glue. Okay, I'm adding it to each piece of the snowflake, each detailed piece. And I am gonna add it to the side of his hat right here. You can put it anywhere you would like. And there you have it, you guys. You have your snowman shelf sitter. He is super cute. When it's dry and all the glue is set, you can put your base on to have him stand up. Um, you've seen the completed picture either on our Facebook, Instagram page, um, or on the cover of this video. So thanks for DIYing with Deck the Halls DIY Studio today. Find us on Facebook and Instagram and share your photos with us.